Hi guys, in today's video we are going to discuss about different type of uh, logging mechanism available in Avaya OD along with that how to enable a log4j properties right. So in the Avaya OD right, so once you go to the data tag right, so I have created this data node. You can see in the bottom there are two logs right, one is trace, another one is the report right. So let's explore a little bit more about them. So once you go to the trace, right, uh, usually this is used by the developer, right? We can enable or uh, we can print anything you want. Also in the Java side, uh, what do you say? Uh, the debug log that you add over there, right? Those get printed in the trace side. So you can print like a data node checking value for it's a password, something like that. Although the call flow is not right, but yeah, just for the one. And you can print the value of the variables over here. So let's set empty password you're printing. Now, what is the difference in the reporting, right? So one is for the debugging purpose or for the development point of view. One is from the business point of view, right? So let's say in your project requirement, there is a necessity to create pipe separated logs so this will generate into pipe separated so that it can be easily exported to csv and then you can specify different types right so let's say if the call started you can select the start at that point it, if it is ending or it is in progress or if let's say cancel or some other level is there right again the default debug level you can select in for warning error Usually for reporting, it's kept as info. Now, what is activity name? So let's say for the menu capture, right? So you can mention menu over there. If it is a web service, you can mention web service. Um, you can specify like transfer, something like that, so that it will be easy for you to filter. Because remember, these are going to generate into pipe separated, which can be uploaded into the CSV. And in CSV, you can filter out the messages based on the activity name. Okay, now come to the message. It's similar to what we have over here in the trace one. So let's say uh, password equal to, and you can specify the variable then. So this is a basically the two difference between the trace and report. Now what we will do is enable the log. For that, I have to go to Java perspective to see inside of data folder, right? So you can see there are two files over here, log4j and DDRT properties. Uh, so usually uh, this is where we find our logs trace and uh, report writer and I usually add standard out what it helps me is to generate the print in along with the log files where the log files are right so this is for trace and this is for where your uh, trace log and report log is going to generate it will help me print the output into my console when I'm running in simulator so that is the one change I perform. Moving into DDRT properties file, right? So in this, uh, different variables are mentioned. Their details are given over here. You can read about them if you want more details. But how I usually do is, so most of them were used to be disabled when I, uh, by default, when you start the application, right? Uh, what you can do is enable DD trace, okay? You can enable the app trace and you can enable the report if you are using anything for report otherwise keep it as disable so let's keep it as disable now you have done all this thing and still your logs are not getting generated right so one of the reason is if you have to go window and preference okay inside of avaya aura okay go to the orchestration designer tab and go to the debug tracing. So by default, this is unchecked, right? So I was testing out uh, and then I found that it was unchecked. So I make it check. So usually it will be like this. You have to make it as checked, click apply and apply and close. Then once you make a call, you will see the logs are getting generated. Um, so yeah, this is at high level, uh, the logging and how to enable the logging and what are the different types of uh, logging available in our uh, OD side. As always, uh, like and subscribe. Even if you have any queries, just put into the comment section. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you.